Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about templates. I was giving a workshop once about Blender for Architecture and one of the questions that I got from the audience was uh, can we create templates for design in Blender? And by templates, I mean a collection of predefined settings, uh, assets and elements that you can reuse on a project. Uh, many professionals and studios, they have a predefined set of elements that they often use on projects and they create a template with those elements, uh, those resources that they can uh, reuse in all of their projects. In Blender, we do have templates. There is something really close to templates. It doesn't receive this name, but uh, we can use them. If you go into the file new, we have a few predefined templates. Uh, this general option is the default file that we have here in Blender, and we have four templates, 2D animation, sculpting, uh, visual effects, and video editing. Those are templates, but they are not really that much uh, useful for design, architecture, and 3D printing, we will have to create our own templates. Unfortunately, uh, Blender do not offer a quick and easy way to create them. So we have to manage some of those uh, templates by uh, creating specific folders and copying a few files. Before we start, let me give you just a few examples of uh, the things that I, uh, I was asked about in, in that workshop. For instance, uh, one of the uh, questions was, uh, can we create uh, templates like this uh, list here from uh, SketchUp with options to create architectural projects using centimeters, meters, or other elements? Uh, the same type of resource we also find in Rhino. You have a list of uh, templates that you can use for small objects using millimeters or inches and large objects using feet and inches or meters, for instance. Yeah, uh, we can create something that is really close to that here in Blender and to understand where we have to edit and create those elements, we have to go into a few, uh, into a specific folder on your computer. I have a list here. This is the location where you have to edit and create those folders. On Windows, this is the path. On Mac, you have to open the contents of the Blender app. This is the location. And on Linux, this is the equivalent location. Blender call this app templates. This is the folder. And we can take a look into that folder so we can compare the contents. And just to give you an idea of the contents of that folder, let me show again the file new. We have four templates here. And if I bring that folder, same folder that I was showing up, this is the content. We have those four folders. For instance, let's say I want to create a template for an architectural project and this architectural project will have a predefined unit uh, system and a few collections. You can add so many more options. For instance, you can add uh, assets, you can create predefined materials and much more. But for this example, we can start with something simple. So I will delete all of those elements. Since we are, we are not going to uh, deal with animation, I will remove my timeline. I will set my units to centimeters instead of meters. And I will create two collections here. Since I will be creating a template for architecture, let's create a collection for walls. And I will create a new collection for Windows. This is my template and I want to start from the top view of my of my project and the walls collection will be the default, the starting collection for this template. Now, what do we have to do to save this template? 
If you open any one of those folders here, you will see that we have a file inside called startup.blend. And to save this uh, template, I will have to save it as startup.blend, but we need to make a folder first. So I will create a folder. Let's call it arc. And as units, we can call it, we can use centimeters. I will be even using the symbol CM. And by the way, since this folder here is on my program files, if you are using a computer uh, wh where you don't have uh, administrative privileges, you might have you might uh, need some uh, help from someone with those uh, with administrative access to those uh, folders to that uh, particular location. And here I have to save my file since Blender probably won't be able to save it there unless I start Blender as an administrator. I will save my file on a separate location and copy uh, the startup.blend to this location here. So we can go into file, save as, and I will save it here. Let's call it startup. I will hit save. And we can now copy that same file to that location. Let me bring those folders here. I have the templates folder with the startup.blend and I have the arch centimeters. Let's copy it here. And now that it's here, we can make a quick test. Let's go to new. Let's say you are working with Blender and you have to start a new architectural project using centimeters with in those in that a predefined list of collections. If you go into file new, we have a new template from the list, which is arch centimeters. If I select this file, it will start with my new template with the set with the collection of uh, with the predefined collections the units set to centimeters and of course this is just a really basic template you can do a lot more you can uh, load uh, assets you can load materials you can save uh, a lot of stuff into the startup.blend anything that can help you to uh, begin the development of your architectural projects. This applies to anything, of course, not only architecture, you can create templates for any purpose here in Blender. If you wanna uh, change or edit your startup.blend, if you are not aware, you can use here the defaults and it will edit your startup file, which is this option for general. and I can start again my template. This is it. This is how you can create templates in Blender. The only thing that you have to do is to create a folder. In this location, Blender will, uh, will use the same name of your folder. So you have to use a name that uh, helps you identify what, what, what is the purpose of this template and save your Blender file inside this folder as uh, with the name startup.blend. This is how you can create templates in Blender. I hope you liked the content. If you find it useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with more tutorials related to architecture and design. See you next time. Bye.